Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making an apron from a pattern, but here's the catch. The pattern and the instructions are all in Spanish. Let's see if we can do it. You might be wondering why I'm even attempting to do a pattern that's in another language. Well, to be honest with you, a lot of the videos that I watch online are in Japanese, Spanish, English, like they don't have to be in the language that you speak because um, most of it is pretty clear and cut. It's measurements. So a lot of other countries, they use centimeters instead of inches. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty clear and cut as to what you need to do. I watched many different versions of how to make an apron. So this is, here's like an overview of the pattern. It's a um, apron that has, has that it's an apron that has a cross back. And this is the pattern that I like the most. It has like full coverage all the way around. Um, the only thing I didn't like about this was like that there's a pocket right in the middle bottom. Uh, I wish the pocket was a little higher up, but we'll see. I'm gonna do it just as the pattern says, and then we can make modifications later. Um, I'm also short, so this is probably gonna be too long for me, but we'll see. Uh, the first step, I've got it all printed out here, and I'll have the link to the video as well as her pattern down below. Um, the first thing I need to do is assemble their 17 pages into this shape so they're all labeled like page one page two so you're just lining up all the shapes need to tape them all together and then cut it out then um i could pick out the fabric because like i said i don't know how much fabric this needs because it wasn't in english so i'm guessing a yard maybe a half yard i don't know we'll see we'll see how the big this pattern ends up being when i cut it out and we'll go from there Here's a pattern update. So this is what it's supposed to look like. This is the main part of the apron, the shoulder straps, pocket, and then the, um, what's it called? The facing, I think is the right name of it. So here's the apron. Here is the, um, the facing and the, um, what do I call it? The arm and then the pocket. And you see that she put like the measurements on there. So I checked some of these that they are the correct size and it like it's a little off by a little bit but it could just be like the way that things are pieced together so what i need to do is cut this out hold it up against myself see if it's the right size and go from there all right we've got the pattern pieces all cut out i am super bothered by like the amount of waste when you print out a pattern and then cut it out oh that bothers me a lot let me know your tips for what to do with this paper waste um so i need to find fabric this is on the fold this piece so this is the biggest piece and then these pieces have to uh, go on it as well there's two of those that's on the fold and one of those so i want it all to be in the same fabric we'll see what we're working with let me go look at my stash i have this like upholstery type fabric it's a much thicker fabric i think this will work really nice as an apron very durable it looks like there would be plenty let me unroll it and lay it down and see if the pattern will work I believe I got this from a thrift store, I'm pretty sure. The fabric is wide enough, so this is gonna work and it's gonna be such old lady floral vibes. I love it, I'm so excited. The only piece I didn't fit on here is the uh, pocket, but I'm pretty sure I can make a pocket out of like any of this remaining bit. I'm not really gonna follow the pattern on the pocket because I don't wanna be wasteful. I'd rather like use the bits and pieces here. I don't know in which manner I'm supposed to lay the pieces down, I'm assuming. This is the way that, oh, actually I have this flipped. This is the way that she wants it cut out. I don't know, I'm, I'm just guessing here. I don't know if it matters. I went ahead and marked up the fabric with a chalk, a uh, piece of chalk. So now I need to chop all this up. Here's all the pieces cut out. Remember this guy, he's on the fold. So, that's the top and the sides. Here's the facing for the top. Then the two straps, strap and strap. And then here's the pockets. So, like I said, I just use this hole right here as the pocket. And I'm going to do the pockets last because it's not like this is lined. It doesn't make a difference if you do them at the beginning or the end. So I'm going to wait until I make it. And then I'm going to do two pockets and I'm going to place them how I see fit um, once I have it done. But I need to watch the video to see what the next step is. 
I made the pockets. You can see here the top is tacked down. I think they should go like here at the armpit holes, but I don't know. We're not going to do these just yet. I just placed them kind of symmetrical. I'm not concerned. And then now I'm adding the shoulder straps. And I can tell you I've already made a mistake because this is supposed to be the same size. Uh, yeah, and it's not. So we're going to have to trim that up. That's definitely my fault. I'm sure I didn't do it right when I cut out the pattern. All right, we have the sides and bottom hemmed as well as the um what are these the straps and the facing put on on to the next step it's coming along real nicely and again i have not uh, tacked down the pockets yet i'm going to do that very last here is the finished apron from the back let me flip it over Here's what it looks like from the front. I decided to put the pockets more towards the top here so they're easily accessible. I think it turned out so cute. It is definitely not a flattering apron, but it is so useful. Uh, okay, let me get a body shot to show you guys. Here we go. Here's what it looks like. Here's the pockets. They're right here. Here's what the back looks like. Like I said, it's not super flattering, but oh my goodness. I love it. I know what I would do to make it better for next time. Like I would make it smaller, like maybe even putting some darts. But then again, it's supposed to be an apron. It's not supposed to be like form fitting, but I think it's like a little low for me, a little too much extra here. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But I am so happy. Like I never make something for myself. Uh, I don't know if you're like that too. What is your craft and do you make things for yourself or only for other people? All the time I'm making things for gifts and to sell, but I don't make things for myself. So it's really nice when I do make something for myself. Anyways, here is the apron. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below.